I'm Emily C. Bunrang and today we are going to nixtamalize corn. What is nixtamalization? Nixtamalization is the process of adding slaking lime or pickling lime to make corn bioavailable for our body. By the way, this is my first time ever nixtamalizing corn and I'm really excited to see the result and make my own masa. And I got this beautiful dried blue corn in Mexico City at a place in the Roma Norte neighborhood called Sintli Tortilleria. And they make fresh masa there using nixtamalization as well. And I just thought, oh my god, blue corn, that's so beautiful. And of course they had white corn and yellow corn, but I had to get the blue. And I actually didn't realize that I couldn't just grind it and soak it in water and make masa. You actually have to nixtamalize it. What you're going to need is some pickling lime. Now I found this on Amazon, Mrs. Wages pickling lime. And of course you're going to need some dried whole kernel of corn. And the tool you're going to need is a food processor. Or if for some reason you've got a corn mill already, a corn mill would work great. Also, masa is the ground form of whole corn. Now I have four cups of the kernels in here, which is about, it's almost a pound. Then I'm just going to add a tablespoon of pickling lime. Now you don't want to be breathing this in or touching it. So there's a tablespoon. I'm going to just drop it in. And then I'm going to add 12 cups of agua. I'm going to turn on the stove and we're going to stir that slaking lime and then we're going to bring it to a boil. Now it's coming up to a boil and we're going to simmer it for about 15 minutes uncovered. So it's been about 15 minutes. I took the pot off the stove and you can actually smell like the buttery, earthy corn smell. And I want to show you what the pickling lime does. So I've got some here in a bowl. And what it actually does, it takes off the outer, the shell. Can you see that? I'm going to close the pot and leave it on my counter at room temperature overnight. So it's the next day and now we're going to take a look at the corn kernels. The kernels look beautiful indigo, dark, deep blue. I don't want to stick my hands in it because the solution is pretty caustic. So we're going to go to the sink and rinse it off. Now we want to drain the liquid, the alkaline solution. I'm going to continue rinsing it and scrubbing the kernels until the bran comes off of it. Some of the outer layer comes out, comes off the bran. You can see that there. So you're just going to keep doing this. And at least I've done this five times and it looks like most of the bran is off. You don't have to be so picky about it, but just try to get as much as you can off the corn. So I've got my food processor here. It's time to grind the masa. Or if you don't have your food processor, you can use a corn mill as well. Let's get grinding. Also make sure you have a cup of water close by in case you need to add some to keep the, to get the masa moist. I actually might do half of the corn kernels. We're going to close it. <laughs> now we're going to turn it on. Whoops! <laughs> Did it hit you? It's looking a little dry, so I'm just going to add a little bit of water. Okay, I just want to take a look at the consistency. Okay, so it's pretty wet. I added too much water there. It was hard to gauge how wet it was in the food processor. So make sure you open it up first, feel it out, then see if you need water. And I'm going to add the rest of the kernels without liquid. Okay, let's hope 
it uh, blends well and doesn't need to be any more dry. Make sure you scrape down the sides in between so it incorporates all the kernels the blade did not get. Get that in there. Okay, let's try this again. Open it again. It hasn't gotten all the kernels. I might have packed it in too much. But, uh, okay, so because it's not blending or getting the other kernels because there's too much in here, I'm going to take half of it out and then try to blend again. Did you know that if I didn't grind it and make masa, the corn kernels would become like hominy, which in Mexican cuisine, it becomes, uh, you can put it in pozole. By the way, this food processor has been in my life for at least, oh my gosh, since I can remember. It's at least 25 years old. <laughs> okay. So it's looking better. All the kernels, most of the kernels got uh, grinded. We're gonna go a little more. Okay, so because I have a very ancient Cuisinart food processor, I had to make smaller batches and put them in a little bit at a time to make it more, to make the masa more smooth because it was a little coarse still. So we did it a second time uh, if you have a newer food processor, I highly doubt you'd have to run it through for a while. So I'm going to empty this one. Man, the color is just really beautiful. Things you can do with masa is, of course, make tortillas, make tamales, which I've never done. Definitely want to try that. You can make sopes. And now you can see... I haven't weighed the masa, but it was pretty much four cups of um, dried kernels and it became this much masa. And I think mine is still a little too wet. I am going to figure out what to do with it and if it even will stay as a tortilla when I make it. So yeah, that was my first time nixtamalizing corn and making it into fresh masa. So I hope you learned from my experience. It was really fun. I think it's important for me to learn the process of the foods I'm eating. So if you have any tips for me as a newbie, as a masa nixtamalizing corn newbie, uh, feel free to leave the tips in the comment section below. If you have any comments or questions, I would love to hear your feedback. I'll see you guys in the next video.